Okay, you've seen the Shopify app store. There are thousands of apps on there. So which ones are gonna be best for you? That's what this video is all about. My agency has built hundreds of Shopify stores over the years, and there are six go-tos that we always like to look at that we know are gonna increase. Quality. Okay, so the first one. Now I'm gonna break these down into different kind of chunks, different ways of us looking at some of these. But let's start simple and let's just go, how do we increase conversion rate? Like that's gonna be a really easy one to do. Now, as we run an agency, some of these apps are gonna need some little bit of development and some of them are gonna be super simple. And the first one I'm gonna start with is super simple. You shouldn't need any real involvement from the developer, unless you want to, of course. But the idea is that this one here, which is sales pop, it's gonna add something to the site that's just gonna increase that conversion rate because it's gonna give them that FOMO. It's gonna give them that fear of missing out because other people are doing it. And there's these two thoughts here that we've got FOMO, which is one of them. And the other one is that kind of like, well, someone else is doing it. It's almost that herd mentality of, well, so-and-so are doing it or I can see X number of people are doing this. So it must be okay. So I quickly pop down this site. You can see this site here, it's salespop.com. Um, but as you go down here, you can see like an example that I've got ready loaded here with like the live activity pops or recent activity pops. And what you can do is, is you can select what that pop will be. You can select what it's going to say. You can't obviously show the number because it needs to be based on real data. But if you landed on a store and you were looking at a pair of trainers, for example, and all of a sudden it was like, hey, 18 people have bought this in the last hour or even just 18 people have bought this in the past day, it's going to give you that additional credibility and makes you think you can probably trust it and therefore it's going to add to conversion rate. What's really nice about this particular app is you don't really need any developer interaction. You can add this in via the Shopify app store, dead easy to work with. Lots of non-developers will use this. Obviously we like to use it with our clients because it does increase conversion rate. Now this one doesn't have a fancy separate website, but it still does a great job. And the idea of this particular one is once someone has made a purchase with you, we want to try and increase that average order value. And how we would do that is by upselling to them as soon as they bought. So what this does, which is really, really nice, and I'll try to show you in this example, on the left-hand side, you'll see that this is what the normal thank you page looks like. Hey, thank you, there's your map. And on the right-hand side, it says thank you, and it immediately shows you some options with discounts. So really nice, easy way. You have about 20 minutes to an hour where Shopify hasn't pushed the order completely through. So it's a really nice, easy way just to increase that average order value there. Now, you obviously have to give a discount, but try and put some products in there that are going to are gonna easily increase that average order value that aren't too expensive, but you can make some good profit on. It's a really, really nice way of doing it. And again, dead simple to add in. You don't really need a dev to do this. Um, it could look nicer, and that's where a developer can be involved or a designer can be involved. But overall, this is a really nice way to increase that average order value. Now, I am cheating a little bit with this next one because I guess it's not just a straight Shopify app. Um, but it's really, really good. Now, there's lots of these different systems, but basically what this will do, it acts a bit like Big Brother and it will record absolutely everything that's happening on your site and you can then use that data and you can analyze it in lots of different ways. So you can figure out how many parts of the form they fill in, you can figure out where we lose them, you figure out how far down the page they are. It will give you things like heat map and, and click uh, click indications of how much uh, like of the buttons are being clicked on. They have this kind of nice interaction you can kind of see over here so for example it gives you an indication of how many people have clicked on a particular button it will give you percentages of people that didn't fill in this bit it will show you kind of these are heat map examples and how many people clicked on it so you can see for example here that obviously logging in with google is far more popular than setting up an account you have got a small number of people clicking down here and it's quite nice even just little details now obviously you have to move your cursor around in the actual uh, the actual software to use it they're just trying to make this a little bit sneaky to reveal and a little bit more exciting but this is a really great thing to do. From our agency point of view, what we would do is we run this for about a month, depending on the amount of traffic that you will have, and then we analyze it in bulk. We have little notepads out, and we try and figure out anything that we can run through, what and what could we learn from it? Is there a tweak to some language? Is it micro content? Do we need to change the design a bit? Do we need to make something more obvious? Is the color contrast not enough? But just having this additional data running in the background of the site is really nice for you to be able to look at and make proper decisions not just guesses you can make proper educated decisions now based on the user data that you have so i'm aware it's not quite a shopify app but we still use that a lot of shopify stores and it works an absolute dream and it will increase that conversion rate as well now there's lots of different review systems and the reason reviews are important is because the more credibility that we can show our, on our e-commerce store 
the more likely something is to buy, right? It's like when you go onto Amazon and you look at something, you're less likely to buy the thing with zero reviews compared to the one with 100 reviews or 1,000 reviews. So having reviews is an easy way to increase conversion rates, and that's not really just the point of this. That's kind of standard common knowledge, right? And um, please don't laugh at me as I pronounce this. We'll probably get it wrong, but a, a kendo. Feel free to correct me if I've got that wrong in the comments. But the Kendo, what's really nice about their review system, and this platform actually does lots of other things, but I'm purely focusing on it from a review perspective at the moment, is you can contextualize the reviews from now on. So rather than just having a, it's five stars, it's absolutely brilliant, well done, you can choose the information that you pull from the user every time you get a review. Now, why this is beneficial means you can have real context to every individual review that you get. So, for example, in, in, in the one that they're showing here, it's a beauty product. So they've asked for the type of skin type. They've given an idea of what the age range is and then what the result is, as well as your more traditional information with your five stars and your overall review and even a place for you to put a photo. So if you can imagine this on a, on a mattress website, you may have been on this, that they always ask you things if you bought a mattress online. They'll ask you for, you know, do you sleep on your side, on your back? You know, how many people are sleeping in your bed? Did you buy a double, a single? Um, do you prefer softer beds? Like there's all of these different individual things that you can then do. So the more tailored you can make your reviews, the more likely it is that someone will learn and get something really useful from your review and therefore buy. So the more context that we can give, generally the better. And having this ability to do this is a big reason why we really push this one rather than just a standard option where you just do your five stars and then you leave a little review. This is a really nice way of doing it, not too expensive. And actually it does come with a number of different things. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but you know, re uh, referrals, loyalty things, for the, for the cost and the, and the amount of conversion it will increase, I would definitely have a look at this. Okay, this time we've got Clavio. Now I ummed and ahed about including this one because I feel like every man and their dog is using this already on the Shopify store. But I just thought, well actually, on the off chance you're not using it, you need to be aware of Clavio. Now, Clavio is great for email marketing and text message marketing as well, and it is just like the best possible option. You obviously have Campaign Monitor, Constant Contact, MailChimp, all these other systems that you can use, and they just, they're just not as good as Clavio, in all honesty. And the reason for this is that they have the ability for you to assign triggers to them. So based on how a user interacts with your site can change what that trigger is going to do, how it's going to work through. So for example, if someone puts in their birthday, you can set a trigger in there for birthday dates, or you can have a set thing um, for an age range, or as they become, uh, they move into a new age range, or they change into a certain thing for certain colors. There's lots of different options of what you can do with this. We've used this to the nth degree where we might have a hundred different triggers that are built in. Now the triggers do need some developer input, but not a huge amount. And a lot of it can be done through the back end of Clavio. Now, a lot of kind of email marketing and marketing companies are using Clavio for this and they can do this service for you. But if you're willing to learn and put that time in, you will be able to use this yourself as well. And I think there's even an option nowadays where you can just pay Clavio to do it for you and they will work through and increase your conversion rates through all this additional marketing. And I really hope actually, not necessarily expecting everyone to add every single option in, but you know, if you start to pair some of these together, you're gonna to really increase those conversion rates. Okay, we're on the home stretch. I've got a very bright white screen in front of me now. Um, but this is gonna be the last one I want to show you in this particular in this particular video. But actually what's really nice about this is it, it adds the ability for you to have subscriptions there and then on the site. Now what you might think is, well, I can't possibly sell subscription options because I sell X. And let me tell you, I've never found a site that doesn't get additional sales from having a subscription option. It's just an easy way to add sales that are gonna come in. You know, even just from a point of view of in their example here on screen is you're buying coffee, it might be a one-off purchase where you can have it sent to you monthly, weekly, yearly. I don't know why you really want it every, every year, but you can have different options for that. But I've seen subscription uh, on pretty much anything that you can think of. It's a really nice way to increase that lifetime value. So LTV, which I'm sure we're all monitoring, and it's just a nice, easy thing to add in. Now we have done versions of this where we've completely built it bespokely, or we've worked with this system and we've tailored it. And there are some slight pluses and minuses. But if you're thinking of trying this out in the first place, I would 100% have a look at this one. It works really, really well. And that's it, guys. Those are six Shopify apps that my agency absolutely loves to use. We know increased conversion rates. They're easy to work with. 
and they're going to make your site better. And that's really what it's all about. So, you know, we're recording this at the end of December. We've just had Black Friday and um, we're about to go into 2025. This is the time which is going to be really busy for e-commerce. And if there's a little something you can just add in yourself and, and increase conversion rates, then you should be doing it. If you want to take it that nth degree and really push it forward, you want to get an agency included as well. Straight Creative is the agency. Check us out. And if you've got any ideas of what we could do for the next video, please let me know in the comments below.